shopping ads are on the rise as the world becomes more familiarized with online shopping convenience. This means that retail businesses need to set up and run digital storefronts to offer their products where customers are. In this video, I will share the basics every digital marketer should know to effectively create Google's product feed. Now before getting started, make sure you subscribe to our channel and activate the notifications button. You don't want to miss out on our content and our experts addressing questions as they come up. Now let's dive right in. How can agencies manage their client stores effectively? Google has made it convenient to manage goods for online shopping marketing through merchant centers. A merchant center allows the following. Uploading businesses' products with their relevant attributes. Selling client merchandises across paid and organic channels globally. Reporting in analytics on pricings, promotions, and industry benchmarks. Customizing opportunities to enhance marketing strategies. Which are the shopping merchant programs available? The platform offers both paid listings and free listings to help advertisers promote their digital storefronts. Paid listings include shopping ads, local inventory ads, product ratings, dynamic remarketing, shop in action, which allows businesses to sell merchandise directly in Google with zero commission fees, and market insights such as price competitiveness and bestseller reports. In addition, Google's free listing options include product listings, local product inventory, promotions, which allow to showcase product discounts, free shipping options, and gifts across eligible programs, and customer reviews, which collects feedback from past clients and allows end advertisers to display a rating badge in their website. Cool, right? In order to start promoting your business product, you first need to know how to create a Google Merchant Center. First, you need a Gmail account to sign up for Merchant Center. When you're ready, go to Merchant Center and sign in with your Google account. Once you're logged in, follow these steps. Enter your client business information. Keep in mind that the business name is the Merchant Center account name and is what is displayed across Google. Select checkout options that apply to the business such as your client's website, on Google, or at the local store. Link Google and third-party platforms such as Google Ads, Google My Business, or PayPal for US only. Ensure your marketing agency is linked into your client's merchant center. To start using specific merchant center programs, you will have to confirm with Google that your client is the URL's authorized owner through the verification and claiming process. Once this is performed, the website URL will be associated with the merchant center account. How to get started with Google product feeds. There are three ways you can build your feeds. First, we have primary and supplemental feeds. These are ideal if you're creating shopping ads from scratch. We suggest you begin creating a primary feed and add supplemental feeds as needed. Second, the available there are multiple source feeds. These allow you to submit data from many sources. Then it's best to take advantage of the set of tools brought to you by this feature. And last but not least, Google Content API for shopping. This is the most efficient way of getting products onto the Google Merchants when you have a developer source at hand. Also, keep in mind that the platform supporting file formats are text or XML. With all these in mind, you can get your hands dirty while creating and uploading your feed. Click the plus button and follow the prompts to provide the necessary information, which includes country of sale, language, feed destination, and countries to be listed in. Enter the primary feed or supplementary feed name Select how you will upload the file, Google Sheets, Schedule Fetch, Upload via SFTP, FTP, Google Cloud Storage, or manually, or website call. A tip while going through these steps is to perform a manual upload if it's the first feed for the account. You can change this option later. You can officially now view and manage your product feed in the feed section and are eligible to manage your client's marketing for shopping on Google. Make sure you watch our previous video where we share some tips to optimize your product feed. Takeaways. There are ways to make this process more efficient for you. While you'll still have to go through the merchant center creation process, you can skip the product feed creation process and leave it to platforms that can upload, manage, and optimize multiple shopping channels. 
if you're shopping around for data feed management, you should consider platforms such as Data Feedwatch, Go Data Feed, Product Up, and VersaFeed. You can also consider hiring a partner that can provide wide label PPC services to help you focus on what matters the most client communication and your agency growth. If you're interested in learning more about our partner program, leave your comments below, visit our website, or email us. Our team will be eager to show you how our tools can grow both your e-commerce client portfolio and your marketing agency while helping you close more PPC deals.